Hi everybody, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick with your Political News Roundup for Tuesday, December 14th. The Federal Reserve said today it was disappointed in the progress of the economic recovery. The Fed decided to leave interest rates unchanged in a range of from zero to a quarter percent. The Open Market Committee said data shows the economic recovery is continuing, but not fast enough to put a dent in unemployment. The latest jobless rate was 9.8 percent. The Fed gave no hints of changes in its $600 billion quantitative easing program or that any rise in interest rates was on the visible horizon. Overseas, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange could be out of jail soon. He was granted bail of $310,000 by a judge in London today. Assange remains in custody while prosecutors appeal that ruling. If and when he's released, Assange will still be under heavy travel and curfew restrictions and will have to wear an electronic tracking bracelet. He was jailed on sex-related charges in Sweden and has been fighting extradition. U.S. authorities also want him for publishing thousands of classified documents and diplomatic cables. Silvio Berlusconi remains Prime Minister of Italy, but just barely, and many people there don't like it. Berlusconi survived a no-confidence vote in Parliament by a razor-thin thin, three-vote margin today. The vote triggered fights and violent demonstrations on the streets of Italy and even a fight on the floor of Parliament. Berlusconi has been plagued by accusations of corruption and lifestyle issues. The next scheduled national election in Italy is in 2013. Another man who's been under heavy criticism wants to stay in office. Republican Party Chairman Michael Steele says he'll seek another term as GOP leader. Steele's come under fire from within his own party for mistakes and poor fundraising, but he also helped lead the party to major wins in last month's elections. Steele is expected to face major challenges from other candidates for the chairmanship. That's your political roundup for Tuesday, December 14th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.